So today, we are diving into a major development in Ghana's infrastructure and power generation landscape. After more than 40 years, the Volta River Authority has announced the groundbreaking rehabilitation of the Kung Dam, a 160MW hydroelectric powerhouse located in Akuse in the eastern region. This multi-million dollar project is set to not only enhance Ghana's power stability but also improve infrastructure, addressing environmental concerns and bringing long-lasting benefits to the surrounding community. And as always, before we begin, don't forget to like this video so as to inform more people and subscribe to this channel to stay updated on current happenings. Also, be sure to turn on the push notification. Constructed over four decades ago, the Kpon Dam has been a critical component of Ghana's electricity supply, channeling water from the Akosombo Dam. However, with the effects of time, water currents and climate change, the need to restore and modernize the dam has become essential. VRA's Director of Engineering Services, Mr. Kweku Yafe, emphasized that the primary objective of this is to enhance the dam's structural integrity and longevity by reinforcing the dam's dike, which has weathered substantial way over the years. The dam was built with a rock fill structure, but water waves have displaced rocks along its length. We realized that by adding a fresh layer, we could essentially create a new dam, extending its lifespan significantly. This initiative will ensure that the dam continues to reliably serve Ghana's power needs for years to come. In addition, the spillway gates will be upgraded to improve their resilience, ensuring they can effectively handle water flows from Akosombu. This will not only protect downstream communities but also secure the stability of the dam in the face of future climate-related challenges. As part of VRA's commitment to community collaboration, a stakeholders engagement meeting was held, bringing together chiefs, assembly members and opinion leaders from Akuse, Togome, Fojoku, Natriku and other neighboring areas. This meeting was more than just an update on the project, it was an opportunity to address the community's concern and gather valuable feedback. Some community members raised environmental concerns such as the potential impact on fish populations and water quality. Mr. Riafi reassured stakeholders that measures would be taken to protect the ecosystem. The rehabilitation will be conducted in a way that it will prevent water pollution and avoid interfering with local fishing activities. Furthermore, only tracks will be limited to a 15 km per hour speed limit and the roads will be watered regularly to suppress dust. Mr. Ibrahim Mahama, the assembly member for Akuse, urged VRA to extend road improvements to Esutare, emphasizing the need for infrastructure that will support community and economic growth. One of the critical upgrades accompanying the Kpom Dam rehabilitation is the restoration of a 10km stretch of road from Okwenya Junction to Akuse. Previously, this route had become a source of frustration for both VRA staff and local community. Now, it's set to be transformed into a first-class road to accommodate holiday trucks and other motor vehicles safely. The road upgrade will not only improve transportation access but also bolster economic activities in the region. By enhancing infrastructure around the dam, the project will bring immediate and long-term benefits to the residents, making it easier for people to commute, conduct business and access essential services. The rehabilitation project has been meticulously planned to address key infrastructural elements of the dam, including the dikes and the spillway gates. VRA civil engineer Emmanuel Darko Thompson outlined the technical aspects of this massive restoration effort. The goal is to add 150,000 cubic meters of rocks to strengthen the upstream dikes and prevent any risk of collapse, a failure that could have catastrophic consequences for productivity and economic growth across the nation. Mr. Thompson clarified that the spillway gates will not be replaced but rather restored to ensure optimal functionality. The project includes corrosion treatment and structural reinforcement of the gate, which are essential for safely managing water levels and ensuring the dam's overall stability. This rehabilitation project is a game changer not only for power generation but also for environmental sustainability and community welfare. By securing the Chrome Dam stability and functionality, 
The VRA is safeguarding Ghana's power supply and mitigating risks associated with climate change. A reliable dam and power generation system are essential for Ghana's industrial and economic activities, helping to fuel growth in sectors like manufacturing, agriculture and tourism. Moreover, the investment in road infrastructure and eco-friendly approach to construction will minimize disruptions to the local ecosystems and improve the daily life for nearby residents. The balance of progress and environmental stewardship reflects VRA's commitment to building a sustainable future for Ghana. This rehabilitation of the Cone Dam is more than just a structural upgrade, it's a strategic investment in Ghana's future. By addressing this 40-year-old critical infrastructure need, the project will not only preserve an important national asset but also strengthen the foundation of Ghana's energy security. As climate change poses new challenges, the dam's enhanced resilience will ensure that Ghana will continue to rely on this critical power source. Furthermore, the project highlights the importance of collaborative efforts and development as community members, stakeholders and the VRA work together to build lasting improvements to this area. The collaborative spirit is an essential part of building a future where infrastructure meets the needs of both the people and the planet. This multi-million dollar bone dam rehabilitation marks an exciting chapter for Ghana. After more than 40 years, this upgrade ensures that the dam will continue to be a reliable power source while enhancing both local infrastructure and supporting community development. What do you think about this transformative project? How important is it for the country like Ghana to maintain and modernize their aging infrastructure? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and be sure to like this video so it gets to more people, share as well and subscribe for more updates on Ghana's infrastructure and energy projects. Until next time, keep an eye on Ghana's journey towards a more resilient and sustainable future. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this next video out.